Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Snowjitsu here, back with another video, and today we are gonna I'm gonna be showing off my sports cards collection and maybe some memorabilia at the end. But as y'all can see, this is my face reveal. I said when I was at 15 subscribers that I was going to do a face reveal once I hit the 50 subscriber mark and now here we are at 57 subscribers thank y'all so much i think we've gained like 27 in the last month it's crazy and a lot since the start of the year but yeah thank y'all for all the support y'all seen lately but yeah i'm here if you want to see the hair yeah there you go but um we're gonna get going here we're gonna start off by showing off my kind of some of the old some older player cards that I have. Um, number one is this Al K-Line card right here. Al K-Line, I'll show you right there. That card, I picked it up, I got it as an, at an antique store like a week or two before he died. It was kind of crazy timing, but that's why I like this card a lot because I picked it up right before he died, which the late great Al K line. The next one I have, I pulled it out of a leather and lumber box. It is a 5 of 10 Joe Jackson, one of my favorite players of all time. Right there. There you can see the focus. There we go, 5 of 10. Great card right there. And then next up, we have this card, I bought a box at a, another antique store a while back of old scorecards, and I was looking for this one, and I got it. It's the Bo Jackson um, football pads, bat on the, his back card. This one is really, really cool. Next, we have the my kind of Atlanta Braves, my favorite Atlanta Braves cards that I have, and that is my favorite team, as y'all know. My favorite college team is Georgia Tech. I got the Coastal Carolina hat on, but uh, we're gonna start this off by, I got this for 50 cents, I don't know why, but it is an Ian Anderson first Bowman, Bowman Chrome card. He fits amazing as if y'all watch the playoffs for the Braves. He's gonna be a big part of our future. So I'm super excited about this one. Ian Anderson, Braves first Bowman. Next up we have a, a card I picked up at an antique store. It's messed up and stuff, but it's just cool to have. From 1968, Hank Aaron, um, like playing card. They used to do this thing where um, they had different players as playing cards and there was a game to go with it, but I thought this one was really cool. So there it is. Okay, next up we have a Chipper Jones Donruss 1983 rated rookie. There you can see it. How close Chipper rated rookie Donruss 83. And on the back, I just noticed this, I have a 1991 top prospect Chipper Jones. No, that was 93, my bad, 1993, sorry. And on the back, I have a 1991 top prospect Chipper Jones. Then we have a Freddie Freeman rookie card, one of the best Braves of all time. Look at that, Freddie Freeman rookie card. Oh, I think I just got this out of, I think I had this, I don't really remember where it was from, but there it is. I'm so glad I had that. Next up we have a 1961 Eddie Matthews card. I got this one at an antique store that I go to. You can see Ed Matthews, Milwaukee Braves. Super excited to have this one. It is a great card as well. Next, these are my two favorite Braves cards I have. We have, well, I have one coming up later, but it's not in this part. That is my favorite. But here we have two of my favorites. An Aussie Albies Optic Rated Rookie Purple Parallel that optic Ozzy Albies rated rookie purple parallel so glad to have that and and a Ronald Acuna Bowman first Bowman card I don't know how much this is going for but it's probably going for a lot but there it is 
Ronald Acuna, Ernest Bowman. Okay. So that will do it for my Braves. Next up, we will have the some UFC, my top two favorite UFC cards. All right, so these two are two of my favorite cards. They are, I open, I've opened a few boxes of UFC, definitely not as much as baseball or football, but a lot of this has been baseball. But for this, we have two autographs I've pulled. The first one I'll be showing is a Jerry Cannonier first autograph rookie auto. And if you don't know much about UFC, he is a he is a big prospect for you to know. Now he's a top contender for in the middleweight division. Jared Cannonier, he is a beast. And then next we have Daniel Cormier, six out of sixteen. He is one of the cage parallel. He's one of the greatest UFC fighters of all time. When I pulled this, I went crazy. It was awesome. There it is, Daniel Cormier. He's been amazing at heavyweight and light heavyweight. He's, I was so happy. He's a great fighter. I like him a lot. That will do it for our UFC. Next up, we have we will have the top autos I've pulled just out of packs or a box. All right, next up, we have the top autos I've pulled out of a box or a pack. We're going to start it off with this Jeff Reardon Expos, it was a 50th anniversary. I pulled the, this was from 2019 Tops. There is Jeff Reardon. I pulled this out of a box, like a booster box, it's like $20. They don't guarantee an auto, but I pulled it out of there. I was so excited to get it, I was pumped. Cause I hadn't pulled many autos, I haven't pulled out any autos in the regular packs. This was my first one. Then, Later on, uh, also from 2019 Tops, we have another card. I just pulled this out of a random pack. You know, you go into the store and it's just like packs sitting up on the shelf. One single pack. This is a John Means rookie auto that I pulled out of one of those. This was great. And he had a really good rookie season. Last year in the 60 game season, he wasn't too great, but I think he's got a bright future, so I'm excited to have this one. And now, top two. I'm going to start it off with. I put this out of an archive signature series, current players box. It just gives you one card, but 45 out of 99, Jack Flaherty, Bowman, Auto. He's a great young pit pitcher for the Cardinals. He just hurt the Braves in the postseason a couple times, but uh, yeah, was, he's, he's nasty. Then we got, last one for this uh, section would be a, ooh, what is this? 27 out of 30, Devin Bush out off the Pittsburgh Steelers rookie autograph. This one's great, out of absolute. There you go. I got it in the uh, one, I forgot the name, but this hard, very protective case because that's a big, big pull. I don't know how good he's done so far in his career with the uh, Steelers, but he's still a young, promising prospect. And I was super excited to get this one. Next up, we will have my top rookie cards. All right, so the next up we have about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our, this is seven of my top rookie cards. Not counting the Aussie Albies and the Cunha I showed earlier because those were in the, for the Braves. But we're gonna start off with a Aaron Judge rookie card. There. We've got a Ken Griffey Jr. 1989 Belier rookie card. Then we got a Fernando Tatis Christmas Christmas box from 2019 rookie card. I love those Christmas boxes. Then we got a, these are my four top football cards. Well, no, there's one more that I'm showing later on that's my favorite football card, but these are four of my favorite. We've got a Deshaun Watson Gonrish rated rookie. Look at that. And if any of y'all know the prices on some of these cards, I don't know. 
please tell me in the comments down below, but look at that. Deshaun Watson probably will be traded this offseason, but rated rookie of Deshaun Watson. Next up, we have a Donruss rated rookie press proof gold of 49ers star defense savant Nick Bosa. I know Sam will like this one. He is a big 49ers fan. There you go. This one is amazing. And again, if y'all don't know any of these card prices, that might be expensive or worth a lot. Let me know. Next up, we have press proof rated rookie Christian McCaffrey. Boom. That one, this is amazing. He is a stud. One of the best players in the league. And, uh, yeah, he's just an amazing player. And I'm, I got a few boxes from a Walmart of old. They had some 20 sets. Was this 2017? Yeah, 2017 Donruss. And that is where I got a lot of these good rookie cards from. And next up, my favorite of them all, Patrick Mahomes, rated rookie, press proof. Crazy. I mean, crazy that I got this. He has been amazing since he came in the league. Uh, MVP, Super Bowl champion, runner-up. He's just one of the best. Rated rookie Patrick Mahomes. I don't know how much this goes for. It's probably a lot and I don't even know. But next up, we have just one more section of cards. And those are my top three favorite cards. I have. All right, here we go. The biggest section of them all. My top three favorite cards I own. Okay. We are going to start off with... My favorite football card I own, five out of 25, double patch rookies of Joe Mixon, Mixon and Christian McCaffrey. I pulled this one out of a, uh, no, a regular box. This is one of my, be my best pull ever out of a just regular box. It didn't even guarantee anything, but look at that. Beautiful uh, Panini, I think it's Panini Contenders. Illusion, Panini Illusions, there it is, look at that. Joe Mixon. And Christian McCaffrey. This is my favorite football card I own. Patrick Mahomes is probably worth more, but I just love this one. Next up, we have. I pulled. I've gotten two one of ones ever. Both are in crazy ways. Um, the first one is this one of one Chipper Jones. I found this at an antique store for ten dollars. I don't know how. I don't know if they didn't think it was a real autograph or what, but as you can see, one of one Chipper Jones autographed. I found this for $10 at an antique store. Crazy. And he's one of my favorite players of all time. This is my favorite Braves card I own. Then we have the last one, my favorite card. I pulled this out of a box, I actually pulled it. Sandy Alomar, one of one autograph. Look at that. I'm going to focus on the one of one. One of one. Sandy Alomar. Great player and just a great card. And the reaction I had to pull on this was amazing. But that'll do it for uh, the cards. Now I'm going to go show y'all a couple memorabilia items I have. And we'll wrap this one up. The last piece of memorabilia I want to show y'all is this um arm sleeve that I got at a Georgia Tech game. They were playing Virginia and Virginia Tech and won a 30-27 in overtime. And former quarterback for them, Taquan Marshall, was amazing. He was a great quarterback. And he tossed this up to me because we were right by where the players were now. And here it is. Taquan Marshall arm sleeve game one. It's great. And that'll be the last piece of memorabilia I'll show y'all. And now so that'll wrap up this video, showing off my car collection and some memorabilia. This is my face reveal for hitting 50 subs. We're at 57. Now we're on the road to 100. I thank y'all for all the support we've had lately. Um, and I will, I hope y'all drop a like, subscribe if you are new, comment anything you want to down below. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.